Hello, in this video I'll be making a custom Dracula inspired doll. I had so much fun making this and I can't wait to show you. Well, starting off with the materials, I have my bases here. It's a Ghoulia and a pink Create a Monster Vampire head. I have my nylon hair with my reroot tool. It's handmade using an old X Acto blade handle and a sewing needle cut at an angle. And then of course you have your acetone, MSC, a mask, some paint, paint brushes, and then this acne cream which I'll show you what that's for in a bit. As you can see this is the before. There is some light staining on the head and that's where the acne cream comes in. I'm attempting to remove the factory paint with nail polish remover, but that actually doesn't work as well as straight up 100% acetone. Acetone just wipes the factory paint off like butter. You do want to be careful though, as acetone can be abrasive and it can actually melt certain plastics, so definitely after you handle this stuff, wash with soap and water. Now, the painting process. I'm mixing a lighter gray color to try and best match Gullia's tone, and I'm making sure to paint in thin watery layers just so that there are minimal brush strokes. And after about three to four coats, she's all covered, and I'm just going to spray her with MSC outside with a mask. This stuff is pretty toxic. After that's dry, I'm going to use some watercolor pencils to sketch her face out. If you make any mistakes, I definitely recommend a kneaded eraser. I ended up making a lot of tweaks to the face up, so there isn't a whole ton of footage, but I did take pictures where there was quite a bit of change. So yeah, here's the reroute. I used a thumbtack to poke holes into the head for the reroute, and I eventually did end up changing the hairline a little bit. I had to pull some plugs out, patch them with some glue, and paint them because the hairline was bugging me a bit and you'll probably see the difference later on. The reroute took a long time, but here she is. I'm gonna put glue in her head just so that the plugs don't fall out. As with all creative monster heads, they tend to have this hard plastic skull cap that you can't reroute through. So I made some hair webs and I glued them on, some in the direction of the growth and then some in the opposite direction so I could fold it over. Mm -hmm. 
After 24 hours, she should be all good to go, so I'm going to go ahead and put her head back on to her body. I had to cut the peg down a little bit. Some of the paint chipped off a little bit, so I recommend just twisting the neck on it rather than shoving it on so you can avoid that. Now at the salon, she's getting a hot water treatment and I'm doing this multiple times until the hair lays just how I want it. Now I'm starting on the clothes. I have my patterns here, my prototype mock-up outfit, and I already started her pants, but I didn't get that on camera. I also added a belt, which you'll see later on. I did get her vest though, so I'm tracing that on to some fabric. And I'm also going to hem the raw edges with some glue before I sew them good side to good side. Fast forward, I tried on the vest, I'm going to attach some velcro so that it can be removed, and then I'm also going to glue on some painted rhinestones for little button details. This is kind of the state of her blazer and her cape. I'm hand sewing the blazer and I'm gonna run the cape through the sewing machine because I tried to hand sew it but it actually turned out really terribly. So I had to make it all over again. But it, it turned out pretty good. Now I'm flipping the cape inside out, I'm going to sew the opening clothes and I'm going to sew some snaps on as well as hook and eye closures so that her cape can come on and off. I'm drawing on some cape designs, but I had to make sure that the marker I was using wouldn't bleed, and it didn't, so that's why I'm using it. Now, I'm finally adding some little details to her blazer, like rhinestones, collars, and some ribbons, just so that I can cinch it. I'm also patching the paint that came off. I gave her a nice set of super glue cardstock nails, I trimmed them down, and I'm painting them black, although I changed them to red later. Now I'm adding a little lace-up corset detail on her pants using some jump rings and I add this by threading it through the fabric 
and I do about six of these. Finally, her accessories. I sculpted this little medallion, her headpiece, and I'm starting by painting them black. I also made her candle auger thing and glued it together, but I did burn it in the oven and I forgot to record the painting process. But here's her little chalice and a bat. Her shoes were made from a budget Apple White doll. I whittled them down and I sculpted some clay over the top. I was going to go for more of a similar color scheme to the Dracula Monster High doll, but I didn't like that that much, so I just went all black with a red bottom. I'm making some super simple hairpins using flower gems, black chain, and some antique gold paint. I'm giving her a hair trim and then I'm going to tame her flyaways with some hair gel. Now, it's finally time for the assembly. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my first custom video. There's many more to come, so if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and feel free to check out my Instagram and TikTok. Those will be posted in the description down below.